Today on the channel, we're going to take a look at this 2010 Gibson Les Paul Special. Welcome back to the channel. What I've got to show you today is this 2010 Gibson Les Paul Special. This is one of my favorite guitars that I have. These things are, are bare bones, stripped back, just rock and roll machines. You can do just about anything with these guitars. It's kind of like my Nags Kanai J that I showed recently on the channel, but I'm a big fan of P90s. People that watch the channel probably wouldn't realize that because I play a lot of hard rock and and uh, you know do a lot of Van Halen stuff. But I love this guitar. I love P90s. They have so much character and personality. But uh, yeah, so this is a 2010 Gibson Les Paul Special. It's a 24 and three quarter inch scale guitar. It's got Gibson P90s. This one's got the Tunematic bridge. I know a lot of traditional. Players love the juniors that just got the wraparound bridge, but I like the Tunematic bridges for tuning stability, personally. Uh, this thing's beautiful. It's got top hat knobs. Black top hat knobs and, and pit guard. This is a really dark fretboard. These fretboards are supposed to be rosewood. I wouldn't be surprised if this was ebony. It, looks re it really looks dark for rosewood, but it's probably rosewood but it sure looks like ebony to me. Get a close-up of the headstock. This thing is pretty much in mint condition. I mean, there's, there's not a scratch on this. I bought this from a, a guy I'm friends with now online. Uh, used to play with a little river band, or he still does, out of Nashville, and uh, it was cool. Bought this a few years ago, met him at a coffee shop, and picked this baby up. It's funny how you come across guitars and uh, find stuff along your journey, your guitar safaris, <laughs> as Bonamassa says. Like these vintage looking tuners, dot inlays, TV yellows, classic. It's got a classic look to it. Let me flip this thing around, we'll take a look at the back side. Before I do that, look at this really nice plush case. I love the, the white fur, faux fur on the inside of this case. Fits really nice. Just a beautiful case, beautiful guitar. All right, so here's the back side of the guitar. Nothing too surprising. One thing that's pretty neat about it is it's got this little comfort cut on the back. If you can see, they cut these things out just a little bit. Trying to get out of the shadow so we can take a look at the, the way this body is painted. You can kind of see a little bit of the texture of the wood in there if I get real close. The neck, back of the neck is in really nice shape. No cracks, nothing. Serial number shows that's a 2010. Real no, nice points on the, the open book headstock there, real good. No dings or anything. This is a, a really good example of a a guitar that's slowly getting old. I mean, this thing's going to be 13 years old and in a couple months I'm filming this at the late end of 2022, so very cool. We'll plug this thing in and, and give it a whirl and see what she sounds like. <laughs> 